Hey guys, welcome to the 183rd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our capture generator. And in this tutorial, basically what we're going to be doing is having this method actually return images. Because right now it just returns null and it just draws the captcha into panel one. And what we actually want to do is make it so that this will return uh, a bunch of images or a bunch of captchas. Uh, and then we can just loop through all those images that it returns and then save them to a folder. But for right now we're just going to have this actually return images. But before we can do that, we can't just actually create the graphics from panel 1. Because there's no way to convert graphics into an image since graphics are just used to draw. They're not actually representing an image or anything like that. So what we're going to have to do right here is create a new image or a bitmap and then draw the graphics into that image. So we're going to say bitmap bitmap equals a new bitmap and we want this image to be the exact same size as our panel. So we're going to create it from the size of the panel. So we're going to say the width of this bitmap is the same as the panel's width. So we're going to say panel one dot width and then we're going to say the height of this bitmap or this image is the same height as our panel. So we're just going to click panel one's height right there. Alright, so now that we have our bitmap created, we're actually just going to draw all of our captchas into this image right here. So we're just going to say um, graphics g equals graphics dot from image. And we want it to be from our bitmap image that we just created. So now, whenever we draw a captcha, it will be drawn into this bitmap image. Alright, so now that we have a way to store our image, let's display it. And to display it, we can just set panel 1's background image to that bitmap image that we draw into. So we can say panel 1's uh, background image equals bitmap for that bitmap that we draw into. So when we debug, it should be the same as before. Yep, it just creates a captcha, and yep, they're all different. Alright, perfect. So now that we know that we have a way to store our images, um, let's actually store them into an array and then return that array. So we basically just wanted to loop through all this code the same amount of times that the user wants to create images since this code will just create an image. So we're going to say right here for int um, z equals zero and then we're going to say while z is less than the amount and then we're just going to increment z so it will actually create only the amount of images that we want it to. Alright, so now it just loops through this code the same amount of times that the user wants to create images. So if the user has us create five, five images, it'll just loop through this code five times. But right now it just returns null at the bottom. What we actually want it to do is create an image and then store it into an array. So we're going to go up here and create a new image array. We're just going to call it images and set it equal to a new image array. And how do we know what size it's going to be? Well, we know how many images that we're going to create, and we only need to store those images inside of our image array. So we can just make our image array the same length as the amount of images that the user wants to create. So we can just put amount inside of here, and we now have an image array that is the same length as the amount of images that the user wants to create. All right, and then each, each time it loops through here, we're just going to store the image or the capture that it generates inside of this image array right here. So we're just going to say images z, so it'll always store it to a different spot, equals that bitmap that we generate, or that captcha that we generate. Alright, so now we actually need to just return this image array right here at the bottom. So we're just going to say right here, return images. So now if we were to store, or create five images, and we could say right here, for each um, image uh, i in that generated captures method. We're just going to have a message box show um, so that we know that it created um, a lot of images, or at least five. So you should get a message box that shows uh, hello five times. Alright, so let's just debug here and make sure that it works. Start, we get one, two, three, four, Five. Perfect. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. So, see you guys.